Was Gusios and Kerbakram in order to feed on the air? Yes. That's how the hunting blades managed to trap him in their reverse barrier. So is that what you and Baal were doing there, Judy? Did you go to save Gusios? Not originally. We went there to destroy the Hermes Blastia, creating the reverse barrier. Besides, in the end I was unable to save Gusios. He wasn't allowed to decide whether he was for or against becoming a spirit. It's not your fault. There was nothing else you could have done. We won't let his sacrifice be for nothing. We'll use the spirits well and defeat the Autophagos. Right. Yes. Baul says that aside from spirit conversion, he will do everything in his power to aid us. I'm glad he's on our side. left is figuring out how to use this thing to put an end to the disaster. The spirits didn't figure into my calculations, but their effect should be quite potent. Just leave it to me. Then we've completed one of the goals of our voyage. Right, but the biggest one is still in front of us, though. Still, the situation shouldn't turn against us, I think. Uh, what is it, Patty? Uh, I'm famished. I can't fight in this condition. Why don't you have a skewer like you always do? Draw a line at some point.
This has become quite a place, hasn't it? Has everyone evacuated crossing the blade drifts? I think they escaped to Tolbekia, around Torum. Maybe the ships are back in service now. Anyone would think of running away under a sky like this. Okay, I'm gonna go shopping. Can I join you? Uh, yes. You all wait up at the inn. Okay. Traveling under a sky like this? We're short of customers now, so you are really welcome. Looks like the Teagles got away too. Even with the road through Emmett Hill open, I'm still worried. I love port towns. They always have stuff, even in times like this. Looks like things just might work. What did you buy? One of each formula crest and container parts. What are you trying to do? I'm making a device that will converge the spirit's powers. A kind of makeshift Dane Nomos. Dane Nomos? I wonder what Duke is doing now. I don't know, but he seems totally obsessed. <sighs> Patty, what is it? Huh? I'm famished. Want me to make you something? I do appreciate the offer, but I must decline. I'd blow up like a puffer fish if I ate now. Sleeping is the best way to distract oneself from an empty tummy, so good night. They say kids need sleep to grow up, but I doubt Patty's growing up anytime soon. Rita's gonna need a bit more time, too. We should catch some shut eye while we can. Yes, good idea. Please wake up. I'm up, I'm up. Was that Patty just now? I'm worried about her, running off by herself in the middle of the night. Yeah, but it kind of seemed like there was something weighing on her. Maybe she was thinking about Eifried. Judith! I didn't realize you were awake. Now that you bring it up, she hasn't said a peep about Eifried lately. Rita, you're up too? And so is this old man. I'm going to check on her. I'll be right back. I'll come with you. It's too dangerous to go wandering around alone. It's still pretty risky, just the two of you, Judith, darling. Allow me. I'll escort you. I'm going too. Well, I guess if everyone's going... What's the matter? Hey, sleepyhead, we're going out for a bit. You sit tight and hold the fort. Huh? Where are you going? Don't just leave me here! I guess even the twerp wants to tag along. Alright, then we'll all go and take a quick peek.
please wait. What are you all doing here? We could ask you the same question. Why the solo trip out here, hmm? We've gathered the spirits and are about to embark on a life or death mission. I just wanted to settle my own affairs before that. Are you talking about Eifried? This is my problem and mine alone. No one else should have to bear the burden. You say that, but there's really no reason you should go alone. Uh, hey, that's the Atherum. What is it doing here? Did you call it here, Patty? I thought I saw you holding up the Maristella. So the Maristella is a device that summons that ship. It's reaching out for its other half. Meaning its other half is on that ship? But the Maristella is... Huh? Does this have anything to do with that problem you mentioned? I... Then let's go. Huh? What are you waiting for? You're going to come with me? You know there's no way we'd let you go by yourself. My thanks. But I will be the one to settle what needs settling. You got it. The boat's over there. Time to embark. Hey, does that mean that Eifried is on that ship? Who knows? Guess we'll have to see when we get there. So you were looking for that treasure that I freed had hidden, right, Patty? So you could meet him and get your memories back. I... And then you ended up finding the Maristella, right? Well, yes and no. The treasure I freed was searching for was the Maristella. What? So you were both after the exact same thing? Then will you be able to find him now? If I use the Maristella, I'll find him without a doubt. Then that means Eifried must be on this ship. Well, you see... What the heck? Up there! We've defeated that monster here before, haven't we? Is that Eifried? That? It can't be, but... Whoever it is, we gotta go. Yes. I believe there was a ladder in the captain's quarters. Ah, 
Cypher, it's me! Do you recognize me? Who's Cypher? I thought that was Eifried! I'm pretty sure Cypher was one of Eifried's officers. Patty! Looks like we don't have time to chit-chat. Cypher, we're settling this here and now. and it took me a while, but I finally made it back. I knew it. She's regained her memories. I freed... <gasps> That's... I freed, it is you. Been a while. Why is he calling her I freed? Wait a second. I freed is... me. W what are you talking about? Cypher, you recognize me? Yes. But you must leave this place before I lose myself and turn on you once more. I will not! I came here to release you from that monstrous form and from the Black Hope's fate. That day I turned my hand against many. Committed a great sin. Is he talking about the Black Hope massacre? They would have only suffered more if you hadn't. Like the way you're suffering now. That accident turned them all into monsters, and you saved them! And yet the one who killed them lives freely in this form. You saved me. You let me escape. 
This time, it's my turn to save you, Cypher. I freed. You'd release me from this agony. You've done so much for me, protecting those scallywags in Siren's Harbor. And you've always supported me. But... And now... It ends. Patty. Cypher, you're the only one I... I am sorry to make you suffer so, Highfreed. I'm far from the only one who suffered. You've been through so much worse, Cypher. You're my friend, so I'll shoulder your pain too. And to free you from your misery, I will kill you. Those people... They are the ones helping you through this. Good. Even without your memories, you are not alone. You are not in pain. That was all I was worried about. You've made some wonderful friends, Ifrit. Here, take this. The Maris Gemma. Now I can die in peace. Go on. Do it. Bye-bye. Cypher. It's okay to cry if you want to cry, you know. No matter how tough the situation is, crying gets you nowhere. That's my motto. Patty. I won't cry. Shedding tears is no way to pay my respects to the dear friends I've lost. I am Ifrid, boss of Siren's Fang. So I... I will not cry. I will never cry. I don't want to cry. <laughs> Morning, little Miss Crybaby. So, feeling any better after that nice long cry? Uh, I'm perfectly fine. Good. So, now what are you planning on doing? Yeah, now that you got your memories back and you saw what you wanted to see. It's obvious, isn't it? I'm sticking with you guys. Are you sure that's what you want? I... It's not like I'd just abandon you to fight the Autofagos without me. Besides, I've come this far. I want to see it through till the very end. Well, we're glad to have you, Patty. <laughs> I'm glad to be here. Um, there's a lot that I've been wanting to ask, but I don't know how. Well, I know we're all dying of curiosity, but you tell us when you're ready. I, I'll tell you everything when the time is right. But... What?! Judy, what happened? Wait! That's where Ospio is! What's going on?!
Ospio! What happened to Ospio? What the hell is that thing? It looks like... a mountain? Belay that, a building. Tarkaron. Huh? The spirits are telling me that's the Tower of Tarkaron. Duke, it's gotta be him. He's going to try to use that against the Artifagos. Please, let me through! You, with the long black hair! Do you have a moment? What do you want? Some people with the Knights wanted me to tell them if I saw someone with your appearance. They said they wanted to talk to you about Flynn, the new Commandant of the Imperial Knights. What? I believe you are the right person. Yeah. Hey, was it a girl with kind of cat-looking eyes and a kid with a head like an apple? Huh? Oh, yes, I suppose so. <sighs> so can I wait at the end? Yes, that's fine. I'll call them. So what's up with Flynn? Oh, right. Many people have fled this continent since that monster covered the sky. But some opposed using a guild fleet to protect the Empire. Flynn could not abide that. A fleet attacked by monsters landed on Hypionia. We fought, but they kept gaining. We alone were sent for aid. But all the knights are spread all over the world. We have no other choice but to ask for your help. But... We're too late. Commander Flynn must be... Wow, could you be any more worthless? What did you say? You give up already? Everything you've done, what was it all for? I... I did it all for Commander Flynn. Even that one time. Huh. <laughs> you talk about doing it all for Flynn, but you're just whining. You gave up. You forgot your resolve. Resolve? Yo, Applehead. You said Hypionia, right? Y yeah All right, I'll be back soon. All of you get ready to go to Tarkaron. I'm going to. Yeah, me too! You keep forgetting us! I'm glad you want to come, but this seems pretty bad. That's even more reason not to let you go alone. I don't think Ba'ul will listen to you either. All for the Guild and the Guild for All, right? Well, if we're out of time, let's go and get it over with. I will follow you to the day I die, and with more moxie than a snapping moray eel. Okay, okay, so let's get going. Yeah! Brave Vesperia, charge! <laughs> go get him! All right, Sodia. Let's reform the support units. Oh, okay. Yuri Lowell. Yuri Lowell! Why? Why didn't you call me out for my actions that time? I... I tried to kill you! Oh, <laughs> I'm not letting it go. But I don't have time to deal with someone who gave up on everything. I haven't given up. No? So why haven't you gone to help Flynn, even alone? You wanted to protect him so badly you'd kill me. Why won't you protect him now? I... I can't protect him by myself. Please, save him. Please. You don't have to tell me to do that. Please. You know, there's one thing I agree with you on. Hmm? I'm a criminal. I can be killed any time. Flynn is the perfect knight. A perfect leader. He doesn't need a criminal by his side. Uh, 
I'm just standing in until the right person comes along. Yuri. Flynn always seems to put himself in danger. He's always that way. He doesn't mind getting hurt if it means protecting others. Yeah, he gets a little crazy sometimes. Like you're any different. Birds of a feather, right? I'd say we're all like that. Like what? We all stuck with brave Vesperia, even when the going got rough. <laughs> I guess none of us can just let things go. Right, so we can't just let Flynn go either. Yeah, exactly. Well, since we can't let it go, I think it's time we get a little crazy. I buy it at all. How can you be the famous Ifri? Not a lot we know about Ifri. I'm certain he was a man. Cypher is the one who dealt with people outside of the Siren's Bay, so lots of folks believed he was Ifri. Um, do you plan to tell the world the truth about the Black Hope Massacre? A tale that's infamous won't vanish overnight. Besides... Besides what? As long as you all know the truth, that's enough to satisfy me. Then we're the bearers of Ifrit's story. A serious duty. But it does bind us together as friends. <laughs> I don't mind a burden like that. <sighs> well, I guess if I have to... Hmm? Let an old man join in the fun. <clears throat> May our relationship continue to blossom. Thanks! You're all too sweet, Cypher. I finally met a crew that I can trust like I trusted you. it down there that's some cloud of dust are those all monsters 
This seems to be a counter-effect of Astal's losing control. It's as if the monsters of the world all came and gathered here. Is Flynn really down there somewhere? Probably. What next? We're gonna fight every single one of them? Fine by me. Just give us two days and we'll beat them all. Probably. Two? You can't be serious! Rita, can't we use that Dane Nomos you made? You gonna blow them away like doing it to the Atavagos? Right. Applying directivity to the power of spirits and forming a barrier-like force field to eliminate the monsters... Yes, it should be possible. But this was made to be used against the Atavagos, right? But this is our only option now. To use it now, or wait till later? This is quite the conundrum. Could you let us use it, please? I beg you to. The Dane Nomos. I want to believe it can save mankind. Yes, if we can't deal with this easily, there is no way we could stand up against the Atafagos. All right, let's do it. It's rare to hear Yuri ask for a favor like that. It's our chance to do Yuri a favor! Cut it out, guys. So, what's our plan? Activate it in the area where the monsters are all concentrated. That's it. Simple, right? Yeah, it is. No kidding. Why don't we give it a name? We can't just call it the Rita de Nomos. Huh? I'll leave it up to you. Uh, hmm. Uh, I got it! How about the Vesperia number one? I should have known better. It's got a nice ring to it. Besides, it's nice and simple. Even Baul will need to keep some distance. I'll land further away. Okay, let's do it. some help. Uh, I can't see anything. We should hurry. No need for caution, just charge right in. Let's go. Stay close. So anyway, what is the Maristella? And what was it called? The Maris Gemma? They are the great pirate symbols. When they are united, they'll open the gates to paradise. Paradise? paradise? That wow, like really? <sighs> That's you really imagination. are in your head. <clears throat> there are dozens of tales of paradise from all ages and all over the world, and none of them are true. But adventurers are people who turn legends into reality, right? So what's this paradise like? Who knows? Where is it located? Don't know. Is there anything you do know? Mystery is part of the romance. It's like your magical research, Rita. My research gives clear-cut answers. Don't compare it to your fairy tales. Patty, it's useless trying to explain it to someone like Rita. Thank you. Sodia? Huh. 
but our current situation's bad. It's only a matter of time until we fall. We have a little special something. What? Light this thing up in the middle of the monsters, and then watch it go boom! In the middle of the monsters, there are a lot to get through. Come on, it's us. This is nothing. <laughs> All right, let's go. Hey, we're gonna go turn this thing on. Keep things going here. Just you two? Are you stupid? We cannot let our guard down here. If we can't defend this place, we lose the very reason for taking out the monsters. This isn't to defeat the monsters. This is to protect the people. That's right. Understood. Leave it to us. We'll do everything we can. Much obliged. Take care, you two. Let's go. Right. killed if they keep watching me fight. <laughs> come on. I'm just in awe of the great Flynn Shifo. Sh shut up! Hey, this isn't the time to get worked up. I am not worked up! It's okay. Don't hide it. Would you be serious for once? I am serious. I can't concentrate with you talking all the time. Well, I can't concentrate without talking, so we're kind of stuck. <laughs> Done. You're not too bad either. We're 
we're about to the middle. I'm still up for some more fighting. <laughs> you look like you're actually having fun in the middle of all this. <laughs> you do too. Now, Yuri! Right. Take this! That should be okay for now. Thank you so much. Your Highness. Don't push yourself, okay? Vesperia number one broke, huh? I'm sorry. Yeah, seems like the materials we used to make the body were too brittle. It was our fault. Don't worry, the core's fine, and I can repair it. It's just... What a sad ending. Estelle has saved their lives, but they shouldn't move for a while. I guess we have to stay and defend them for a little more. So why not just make this a fort? It's been a while, Yuri. I've heard stories about brave Vesperia. I guess the mercenaries I hired weren't sufficient. Sorry for the trouble. I'm sure the guilds are in chaos right now, too. Thank you for your help. It won't really make up for things, but I'll help with the defense. You're going to fight? Oh no, I'm a merchant. Just watch. Commander Flynn! You're alive! Witcher! Is something wrong? Yes. That tower near Ospio has created an unusual formula around itself. Judging by the crests, it's absorbing some kind of power. In addition, all residents throughout Elikia have reported feeling strange. Absorbing? Feeling strange? Is it absorbing human life? Duke. Life is very pure mana. Does he intend to use it to attack? This is what he meant by exchanging all human life to destroy the Atafagos. The formula is expanding in stages. At this rate, it could affect the entire world. No! We can't just stand around. But the spirit's power alone won't be enough. Even if we repair Vesperia number one, that alone won't be enough. What? But it took out all those monsters! Judging by the size of the Autophagos, we'd need several hundred times the power. Several hundred? That's gonna be tough. Facing this calamity is going to take an insane amount of power. I guess we have no choice but to change the cores to spirits. Wait, could you explain what you're talking about? Oh, yeah. We meant to talk to you all about it. Hey, Flynn, we want to tell Yoder and the guilds, too. Can you call them here? <laughs> oh, Yuri. You seriously want him to call the Emperor to a place like this? You never change. I could say the same for you, Yuri. What? <laughs> okay, I'll see what I can do. In exchange, you all go talk to the people of the Union in Palastrali. Okay. So I guess we're off to Dongrest and Nordopolica? Yeah. Mind giving us a ride? <laughs> 